Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel full of advice and lifestyle content. If any of that sounds interesting to you, then please consider subscribing and binging my content. Today, as you saw by the title, I have gone shopping and I have not broken the bank, but it's in pretty bad condition. But all of this stuff is necessary to me, okay, to me. But yeah, I just want to be able to share with you guys all of what I got. That way, if you're last minute shopping like I am, then you can know all the good stuff to get and for the cheapest prices because your girl does not play. We ball on a budget over here. We're going to start with this empty box because this is my new tripod that I ordered from TikTok shop that I just unboxed this morning. I'm going to be so disappointed if this package is not outside i just got like 15 probably like four honestly emails from tiktok saying that my package is here so where is it at? i got a jury summons but not my package into the okay, please do not let this be a scam. Oh, okay, breathe, breathe. This is what you guys are currently balancing on filming me. I am really looking to up my YouTube game. Now that I'm gonna be a university student, no more community college guys, you graduated. Well, actually I had to submit my request. For graduation via email yesterday so first we're gonna cover clothing items because that's what I spent majority of my money on the most crazy find ignore the five below bag all this stuff is just random I found these Target jeans these this is Target brand wild fable wild fable they're long enough. I am 5'8". As a tall girl, that's really all you can ask for. And they cinch my waist. $4.82. $4.82 from Dirt Cheap. It just, this is a miracle. These are going to save my life. I have been looking for a pair of pants that fit tall girls. And I know a lot of people were like Levi's, Fashion Nova, Dirt Cheap. 482 case closed i went to roses i'm not sure if that's global or just my southern small town area but i got these leggings again tall girl friendly this is what we need this is a size 1x i wish they had it in a smaller size so it hug a little more but it's just a good pair of staple black leggings 7.99 not fabletics $70, not Lululemon, $90 for a pair of leggings, $7.99. Look at this cute top. Am I doing it any justice on the camera? The little scrunch in the middle with the tie string. This is from Ross. The chest area is obviously covered and then the rest of it is see-through. I love it and I've been looking for just nice tops to dress up or down, so. This is from Ross. Hello, where, where did the shirt go? Okay, this was such an impulsive buy. I really regretted it as soon as I got in the truck, but I have a pair of brown pants that I think will match. I gave into the trend. I feel like little shirts with one design in the middle is so trendy right now. And I found this at five below. The straps are not adjustable, which is why I was regretting it. And the only size they had was a large. So yeah, it was a very impulsive buy, but the beads are cute. The color, I need something to match my brown pants. So brown on brown, then we could put like a cute little fun sweater over. Like, do you get the vision? Okay, so yeah, I think it's cute. I have gray sweatpants and needed a matching jacket. That way I can look like a bum without looking like a bum and you know kind of look a little bit put together so i was like i need a matching gray jacket i got the sweatpants from target rookie mistake there's so many better places like roses ross 
to get sweatpants from so whatever but target had the matching jacket for 25 dollars 25 dollars but i went to walmart okay hanger whatever y'all plain cropped that's what i wanted i wanted a cropped jacket from walmart this was like 13.98 that's a very specific number to not be sure but yeah and it's so soft get into the material get into the material it is so soft i just am in love literally that's all queen girl aesthetic is dressing like a bone but then putting on earrings like this i actually brought these i can show you guys that next okay yeah the the clean girl aesthetic is literally dressing like a bone and putting on gold earrings and lip gloss and calling it a day so this is a staple we need it i bought these earrings that i have on plus these i actually had some like these before but they were from target the gold like chipped off for 5.99 i won't be mad if they chip off you get what i'm saying but i bought the other ones from target and it was just like why are you trying to scam me so roses we're really going through this stuff so quick but i feel like there's so much so much left okay oh i wanted to mention the shirt that i had on i did not buy this specifically for back to school but y'all these undershirt tank tops these are thick like do you hear that thick they're from walmart for 5.99 i got it in this blue teal color and just like a normal pink color i think they're in my disney vlog go watch the disney vlog if you have it but oh my gosh, these are great quality for $5.99. All these brands need to sponsor me, okay? Like I can really put y'all on. So moving on, I got two pairs of shoes, you guys. Ah! These on my right were more of an experiment. They're growing on me. So let's go over the experiment ones first. That way, if you guys don't like this one, then you'll see the next one in maybe you'll be convinced that i have some sort of style okay why okay don't judge me y'all i'm over here tying bags like my grandma ties food down okay i think they're cute uh, you know but they're from ross and i feel like they're affordable these are the shoes they're fila don't okay i think these are so cute i wear a lot of black so i feel like it has a hint of black and i also wear a lot of neutral beige goldy tones so i feel like these are good for me and my aesthetic we know sambas are taking over i love the shoe i don't want to pay 90 100 dollars for the shoe i just really want a flat shoe that I can dress up or down. That's the key. I feel like Sambas, they kind of box you in. Like you can only wear them with like super trendy or cool girl aesthetic outfits, depending on what color you get. But you guys, I just love them. I just love them. I got these from Ross, okay? Look at these. Look at them. That would be so funny if somebody on the other side of the screen was like, yeah, look at them. But look at them. They have the same little detail around the front of the shoe as Sambas. But I just feel like they give such a different vibe. These are more classy. They have the golden G's. It already matches. I love that they're flat, but they still have like a little platform. The Sambas were a little bit too flat for me. I know they have the Adidas Gazelles or whatever, but like 20 something dollars at Ross. So now we're going to move into hair products. Praise the Lord, I only have one bag instead of 15 for this, but you know hair products can get pretty expensive, especially if you're natural like me. So we got all the goods because this upcoming fall semester, I really want to take care of my hair. This is a twist out that I did. I feel like it came out pretty good. So I want to keep that up with these products. The first one is the Camille Rose Honeydew Liquid Moisture Fragrance. I'm sorry. Camille Rose Honeydew Liquid Moisture Refresher 
nettle root infused refresher. In short, this is supposed to moisturize your hair without putting oil on it. I actually do like this product. It's really this one I'm a little bit more skeptical about. This is the Do. It's called the Do. B Girl Collection. Crazy Sexy Curl. Supercharged Honey All in One Setting Foam. Petition for hair products and companies to just tell us what it is. We, we don't need 115 work to get it. But this is a foam and they say to use this after you wash your hair to style it. And I did, but I honestly felt like it dried my hair out. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I only used it once, so I'm really going to have to get more experience with it before I give you a definite no or a yes. But I would definitely look into these two products if you're a natural girl. And then... All of a sudden, I became ambitious. I decided that I didn't want to pay $100, $200 getting my hair done. So I'm going to try and do it myself. I can braid my own natural hair, so why shouldn't I be able to add synthetic hair in it? That's how I'm convincing myself that I'm going to be able to do my own braids, but I'm being so delusional about this, but I really hope it works. Expression, the Outre, Outre, number four in the 52 inch pre-stretched. I'm telling y'all, a mouthful. I know a lot of people say they don't want gel or whatever in their hair. I do. I want it to lay down. I want it to be flat and I give me the shining jam, okay? So that's all the stuff that I got for my hair. And last but not least, we're going to move on to my apartment stuff. I was an amateur and I did not see the dimensions of my room before I bought this stuff. I saw the digital floor plan, but you can only tell so much. So if this stuff doesn't work out, I'm going to keep them in bags, keep the receipts, and hopefully my mom and dad can go return them for me. But Starting off with lighting. I just cannot emphasize enough how important lighting is in college. So I went to Walmart. I am leaving Walmart humbled because why would she say that? So I just checked out, got these lights. I literally need to check how long they are because why were they $16? But tell me why I walked out of Walmart and the worker goes, Oh my gosh, I see a lot in here. Wow, is that just so great? Is Walmart not a super center? Does it not have everything that you need? Um, I have needs, I have wants. Um, like, can I not be in there? <sighs> just... And then tell me why I saw everybody. I feel like that I graduated high school with in there. I'm like, uh-huh. I had a pretty um, weird experience there, but I ended up leaving with these two cases of wire curtain lights. I went to Roses. You may be like, Shayna, why don't you buy the actual important stuff like towels and all these other things? I'm going to steal from my parents. because why would I buy towels? I don't care if they're $2.99. Why would I buy towels when my parents have towels and they don't need all those towels? I can just use theirs. I didn't buy a lot of decor or really school supplies because my mom's a teacher, my dad's a teacher. I will be stealing from them. My mom's a second grade teacher. Sorry, little second graders, I get first dibs. And then my dad's a high school teacher. I really don't even have to apologize to y'all. I bought this curtain because I have a trash can that matches really heavy duty. This was $7.99 at Roses. I just threw it like it was nothing. Then I got the matching shower hook and I got this shower liner. I got this bath mat. The ones at Walmart do not buy those because they're flimsy on both sides. Water is just going to soak right through that so i got this one from roses it has the hard back fluffy
front I feel like this is gonna be able to endure a lot so and then the last thing oh my gosh this smells divine this is Moroccan rose room spray from roses absolutely divine like oh my gosh oh my gosh it smells so great I know it was a lot of stuff mainly clothes but that's what I have gotten so far for my room I'm gonna in a few days have to pack all this up and get ready for a dorm move in which I'm gonna make two separate videos for that a pack with me and a move-in vlog so stay tuned for those but i really hope you enjoyed the video today and consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up remember to speak with sincerity subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos from me bye guys